So yeah, yeah, it it's it's related because now I can see was it Devin that spoke right? No, it was Vivian. Vivian. Vivian, yeah, yeah. I can see that you guys are now taking responsibility, which what you need to do, right? You need to be calling this from master to order if they're not doing their work. But bear in mind they're also kind of letting you roll, actually, mm. right? So when you start a spring without a goal, then what are you going to measure against it when you finish, right? You just say, I meet my goal. Do you get it now? So, yeah. So one way or the other, I have given them what they need to do, right? Okay. So that's why you in the Saturday meeting, you guys need to be visible as well because that is when I give them a viewpoint of what I want in, the, in that particular spring. So, for instance, this particular spring, their goal is to do the core application of the core functionality of the application. So, for last spring, the, for the first spring, they are, they are meant to do the front page of the application. And the second spring, they are meant to do the footer and the header, right? The third mm -hmm. spring, they are meant to do the core feature, right? So for instance, a student, I'm able to register this. Uh, yeah, even, yeah, the last print also is for registration and authorization as well, anyway. So for this one, it's like, as a student, what are my core features? What are the things I need to do as a student? I need to be able to register for a course, right? I need to be able to uh, take the course. I need to be able to, yeah, anything that a student can do, right? The same thing with uh, uh, those guys in the instructor journey, they need to, you know, as an instructor, I need to create a course. I need to be able to upload the course, edit the course, change the course, see my student. Those are the things that they need to focus on. Do you get now? So yeah. you as an ADM, you need to be, you need now taking them that, say, this is what the sponsor wants. Are you guys ready? Are you, do you get it now? Making them mm -hmm. accountable to deliver. Do you, because it's not, uh, let's, okay, you said you are doing Wajai, which is okay. For the other part, they need to deliver based on what I want to see at the end of the sprint, right? If they're not going to meet it, they need to be telling you because you are the one that will be uh, meeting the stakeholder more, right? And telling them what is the plan that, oh, in this particular sprint, you're going to see this. You're going to, see, you'll be bragging about your team, do you get? Because technically they are your team. Do you get it now? Yeah, about yeah. what they are going to deliver. And if they're not going to deliver, it falls on you, right? <laughs> of course, you are not going to go to the stakeholder to say, my team are not able to do this, like Femi said. You are not going to say, oh, we're going to fail. Do you get it now? No. You're still going to oh, pass it again. You need to know how to kind of say good things about a bad situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So, but within your team, you need to tell them the truth, right? But outside the team, the stakeholders, you need to manage them, right? To say, okay, we are not able to meet this, but we are going to meet this in the next spring. So now, let's assume that they've done it thus far wrongly. I will tell you from Monday, right? Their focus, their goal on Monday is payment, right? Okay. And we, so now you need to, you already know before and now, this is their goal that they need to work on payment. No, mm. Now you need to be telling them, like for instance, the um, BA and the BAs need to start writing requirement for payment. If they have not done it before the, um, maybe Thursday or Friday, then they are already set up to fail. Do you get it now? Because, yeah. yeah. So you need to start talking to them to, not talking to the B directly. Do you get now? Talking to yeah, the Scrum, to the scrum master. Masters, yeah. To say, Scrum Master, uh, it's, um, is payment sprint, next sprint. Where are we at? Do we have the mm -hmm. story? So now they need to say, oh, we don't have the story. What are your BA doing? They need to now be reporting to you, to be honest. I, I like mm -hmm. how this is kind of uh, shaping up right now. Yeah, because we, we've not actually done this like this before. Do you get it now? So yeah, that, okay. which I think is, is good. So, and I want to say thank you to Femi for putting this structure in place. So you guys need to know your, your place, right? Even though some mm -hmm. people say there's no um, manager or boss or lead or in you know, a, you guys are the are the boss. To be honest, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> okay, Mister Bidja, have a question. One is for me. Thank you. 
team, yeah. for the team and the other for a team member, we I just checked that he is not here. Please, with all humility, can you please give us our focus for presentation on Saturday or Sunday? So that some team members have still not gotten it clear what is expected of us. Okay. If it can right. help us, yeah, and then I will go for so, the second one. Sh should should I okay? I will do it in two ways, right? Because like I said, you guys will be you are the big boss of the team. I'm going to talk about why I'm expecting from you as uh, okay. a ADM, right, or a PM. I also will talk about what I'm expecting from your team as well, so that you can cascade it to your team. Do you get it now? It's the same thing, right? So for you, right, which is also the same thing for for the team as an ADM, if you take me in, in that meeting as a recruiter. You are applying for a job, right? And you pick a call and I've I've called you to say, oh, um, Devin, I saw your CV. I've got a job of ADM for you at the blah, blah, blah company. And yeah, I just want to know your availability and also know if you are suitable for the role. You got two minutes to convince me that you are the right person for the role. So what I'm expecting is what you've done, what your CV is, right? But and also looking to yeah, and convincing me that you got everything that's required to do the job, right? So technically, you will call that like a two minute elevator pitch, right? Talking about what you've done. And how do you, I want you to, I don't want you to um, talk about theoretical or knowledge for me, right? I want you to talk about practical experience, right? What have we done thus far on this project, right? So that is how I want you to look into. You've been on this project for maybe three or four sprints now. What have you done, right? If a recruiter calls you today, can you... Talk about them confidently. So that is a focus. Is that clear in terms of a DM, a PM? Yes, very clear. I'm so sorry. now the mode of delivery, right? I'm okay for you to just say it, right? But I would prefer that you do a PowerPoint presentation, right? So to say, oh, this is my PowerPoint presentation, all those artifacts that you've created. You put them in the PowerPoint presentation, but you are not going to be, uh, what's it called, delivering from PowerPoint presentation. The PowerPoint presentation, you just tell the person to say, oh, just be moving across the PowerPoint presentation while I'm doing my elevator pitch. Do you get now? So basically, you have all these beautiful artifacts that you've done, right? You put them in there on slides. The person is just walking through that while you are delivering what you've done. So technically, it means that the person that is going to be looking at what you are delivering, we'll look at what you are saying, as well as the artifact that you've produced. Do you get it now? Yeah. Yeah. So that is for the APM and ADM. The same thing applies to the Scrum Master, the BA, the QA, right? They are going to do the same thing based on their roles, right? They are going to talk to all of us as if we are recruiters, right? And to be honest, maybe we'll just change it a bit. There's nothing saying that you guys cannot give feedback for them because uh, in most of the jobs, ABM and EM might be, might, uh, will be the first person to be employed. You are the one that will hire people. And to be honest, you will hire and fire at, as well. Do you get it now? So you need to also listen to what they're saying if it makes sense. So if someone is, you are about to recruit someone, someone and the person tells you this thing, does it really, really make sense? So you need to know what they are saying. You need to, even if you're not going to get the low level understanding of what you're saying, but general understanding is very, very important. Do you get it now? Yes. Okay. Uh, but that, that was a good question anyway. Any clarification, any other comment on that? On my side, I think it's properly understood because we were not really sure as for yesterday as a team when we had our catch-up 
and we are still wrangling about after listening to the video. And sometimes when people are tired after eight hour job, listening to a two hours video, it can sometimes we switch off to be honest. So because we are here, I think it's necessary for every one of us to get it clear from the CEO and for us to be able to prepare properly for our upcoming presentation so that it is also recorded for others who are not here. They will get it from the horse's mouth and any clarification or clarity can be done later to any point. Okay. So, do, so can uh, I confirm that it, you said it's from Spring Zero, is it? The presentation. Yes. But, but the focus is you prepping yourself for interview. Do you get it now? Hmm. Yeah, because I want I want you to talk about what you've done on this platform from Spring Zero, right? Thus far. Right. But the focus is you getting a job. Because one thing, the fact that you are able to say something and with people looking at you is it, 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 it's a success. Some people are afraid, right, to pick the first call. That's why we are using this one as an icebreaker, right? Uh, trust me, when people say, okay, we're finished, and a recruiter calls, they don't know what to say. <laughs> and this is an avenue for you to, yeah, prep for what you are going to say, right, before you say it to the recruiter. Okay. Okay. Hi, um, hi, Femi. Um, um, sorry, hi, um, DJ. Just to clarify for the team, you've asked them to include their CV in the presentation. Is that correct? Oh no, no. Oh, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't ask them to expose their CV. Right. Oh, yeah, no exactly. Problem. So, but no. of course, they could go through their CV, like do you get now, but not exposing it. Even when I do the CV reviews, I don't show the CV. I will. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll yeah. just. Do that. Yeah, so, but of course, they would talk about, yeah, if an interviewer calls you, it's because they saw your CV, they liked it. If you're going to be talking about anything, you will be talking about your CV, right? So, but one thing I want them to show is, uh, I think I want them to show the artifacts they produced, right? So that as they are going through what they have, they've done, they are also showing it, right? It's not like, oh, I've built a mountain, where is the mountain? You are showing us, right, that this is a mountain that you built, right? So these are the artifacts, this is what we've done. So yeah, so, and because you only have two minutes, if you prepare those artifacts ready, it actually helps you to be able to deliver it properly. Right. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'm sorry, I've got a question for Femi. Is that okay to ask? I think it's okay if he's already there. I it's, think it's gone away. Well. That's fine. He's still here, but of course, like we see in advance. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm okay. listening. Okay. Go um, for it. I, is that Ken? Right? It is, yes. Yeah. So yeah, I, I've go got for a it. question. Yeah, I had a question, right? The question is on the on um on the project plan um that was being presented, you did mention for them to explore more about the value. Is that the value metrics or the, um, you know, to give like, um, you know, what's the value back to the company? They just wanted you to clarify that for the team. I don't think they picked up on that. Yes, exactly. I'm particular about the value back to the company. Okay. All right. There's, there's a reason why we do every project. Nobody will start a project for no reason. Because starting a project, like I've said to everybody, it requires significant amounts of money. It's a significant spend. And before you do that, you've got to know what value am I getting from this? Is it monetary value? Is it customer loyalty? Is it customer retention? Is it for regulatory purposes so I don't get fined? Even when we do all of those, it's important for us to be able to measure. Facebook was fined over $5 billion three years ago. This year, they've been fined 
I think over over one billion dollars again, over two billion dollars. You see what I mean? Yes. So, and there are many reasons. So many times we might not actually be building a project because we want to just make money. It could be because we want to beat competitors. We want to be ahead of the game, which will invariably translate into money for us at the end of the day. So what we want to do is to be able to capture that and be able to show it to the sponsor that if you do this project in the next six months, this is what you're going to get. In the next one year, this is what you're going to gain. For example, let's say you have 20 customers now. If we do this project and customers can reach you to four seven, in the next six months, we're projecting that you would have 500 customers. Do you see what I mean? If you yeah. have 500 customers, that's going to lead into money, isn't it? it All right? Is. So th th those are, it's important that the value we're capturing are tangible. I don't want them to just, cap don't let's capture value elusively. All right? So that way, we can then set metrics to now be able to measure those things that are we, we set the KPIs to now see, are we meeting it? Because we've got to be checking it. You see what I mean? That's why it's a working document. So if we project something in six months, after three months, we want to check, where are we? Are we making such progress? <clears throat> if we're not, then we come back to the drawing board to see what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? You see what I mean? Yes. All right? Yeah. OK. No problem. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have a question on behalf of a team member, Mr. DJ, to you, please. <clears throat> a team member, one of us, is in, um, interested in the advanced level. He wasn't aware of the detailed package of advanced level and was part of us in our during our crash program, but traveled and definitely came back when we were already boarding into our ADM course and he jumped into it. So he got to me and I had to explain to him the advantage of the advanced level and also spoke to our advanced level C mentor, Madam Mochi, and definitely he was asked to reach out to you. And he said he has called and he sent you a message and he's still waiting for the response. But he's not in class now or in the training for now. So maybe you have not read his message or you have not seen it or you are busy. If you could go through it so that you would know that oh, as who, who is the person? That should be Arto. Okay. So one thing I can say, yeah, when you go for a program like this, attention to details is very, very important, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think he, he missed the boat, right? So yeah. but what's going to happen is like we will start another one uh, at the end of this program. So you should look out for that. Anyway, that's what I can say for now. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it should have been in the, yeah, in the advance instead of coming in for the program again anyway. So, but yeah, that's what I can say. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's just leave like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good Bye. night. Thank you. Thank you.